Hi, so this is a practical video for making a, a, an oil, a compound for a bathing app. It's an impression. It's uh, not exactly the same thing. Obviously, you can improve it and you can control it the way you want it. But most likely, you're going to get very, very similar to a bathing app impression. So, um, what we have here is 50% um, I put in uh, ISO E Super, 50% is our uh, Blaxolite. Along with it, I put, uh, you see the quantity is 100 ml, so uh, it's a little bit more than that. So I put a little bit of DPG, I don't want to make it uh, too uh, less strong, you know, I just want to keep the consistency same. So but this is for the wood effect. I use a little bit of uh, oud, a few drops, so that's why you can see the color has changed a bit. The next thing I need is um, ethyl vinanin. Now ethyl vinanin is this powder, so what it does, uh, it gives the spicy notes to it. You can use other things as well like I mentioned in the previous video, but I prefer to use ethyl vinanin. So this one, we're gonna mix it within the, there's DPG in it, there is uh, Glexolide and ISO Super. So I'm gonna mix, take all of it and put inside. I use about 10 gram of it. So 100 ml, 120 ml mixture of Glexolide, ISO Super and DPG, DPG being very less, 10 ml to 20 ml. And then I add the ethyl vanillin to it. Okay, so this mixture, I've uh, put all the ethyl vanillin. Now what we have in here, we have uh, uh, 50 ml of Glaxolite, 50 ml of ISO -E Super, and then 20 ml of uh, DPG. Okay, so this is the mixture, and then we added a powder of ethyl vanillin. So this is the powder. Uh, ethyl vanillin is a very nice, Pleasant. Um, it's not too too strong, but it gives. You can class it as a spice because vanilla is a spice. Uh, but it gives kind of a powdery. So it's a medium from uh, something very harsh, harsh spice like uh, cinnamon, uh, which is too strong. Uh, versus um, uh, you know vanilla. So vanilla is a bit of sweetness to it, powdery, and uh, it's, it gives a spicy note to it. So instead of using anything else, I'm using this one. Now we need to add something um, that is uh, the same within the same family. Uh, to me, I think ethyl menthol is another option. So what it does, it's, uh, it gives a sweet sweetness to um, the perfume, but it's also uh, increased the. Uh, you know the the depth in perfume so let's see what happens right okay so this is the ethyl menthol it's kind of a, a sugary kind of uh, stuff so you can see it's crystal form it's kind of like sugar it smells like uh, caramelized sugar a bit of it and um, also does magic to the perfume. So the only problem that we're gonna have is it takes time to mix. As you can see the chunks in there. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to add patchouli oil and that's 10 ml. So we let it mix until it gets transparent and see. 
okay the mixture is coming through right so one thing uh, I didn't mention is that we didn't put lebdenum in it yet so I've made this recipe before I made uh, this uh, formula I used the formula before I done all the combination and I've found the best the combination that suits uh, the impression of uh, the bathing area so for this one I'm gonna do some changes because I'm experimenting before I experimented with the lebdenum, now I'm gonna do it with benzoin. So it's benzoin, and uh, this also belongs to Bolton family. So you have a choice whether you wanna use first use your lebdenum. Right? Uh, but this time I'm gonna use benzoin, and I'm gonna use two drops. This again is very sticky, very gooey stuff, and this does magic to the system overall. So, labdanum, not labdanum, sorry, benzoin is going in there, and I didn't use labdanum. But when you put labdanum, it has a strong smell. It's thicker than benzoin. So, this time I'm trying to add the benzoin because patchouli is quite strong as well, which is the lightest one I want to keep in the lightest one. And I've uh, used different kind of uh, compounds give an impression of the you know sweet uh, spicy woody so it's a lot of things are going on so we call this uh, a jungle smell so you have patchouli you have a smell of wood and then moss is another thing that is it's an option but don't use it because it becomes something else but these are the things that if you use you are on the safe ground and want to see the results by making a formula an impression very close to the bathing area. So you can see one one thing is that there's not just one way to make it. You can uh, use other substances and then make a better version of it. Or uh, you know you can have the same result from different uh, compounds, different oils. So the last thing uh, what I add in my compound when I make uh, this kind of impression. I use dehydrated, 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 sorry about this, <laughs> dehydrated castor oil. Um, okay, so in this uh, last stage, I'm just adding roughly one gram, two gram of hydrogenated castor oil this will make it even better quality so there's few things that you can add to improve the compound like projection silage and there's a lot of things that you can uh, do by adding few things that will work uh, in so many different environments for example if it's too cold uh, if it's making for winter if someone is using for winter it will work perfect if someone is wearing in uh, summer hot weather this will also work uh, perfectly now. So, now this time, what I can smell is patchouli as a prominent. But I need something woody effect as a main prominent. Because if you see the, the, the indication of the fragrance, it's uh, predominantly, it's woody. And uh, the, the, the warm spices are the least. So, what I need to do is, is I need to add, because I've used black solide and ice and super, it wasn't careful with the uh, patchouli. So the dominant smell is patchouli, now I need to control it by adding more uh, food. This is the best option for me. Or something, uh, I can mix it with vitaware, that's another one. And um, mix vitaware with uh, a bit of food. That will give more uh, classier uh, look, you know, and then become very spicy and very oriental and very rich perfume, but yet it's very fresh. Okay, to control the, spot, the smell of patchouli and make it more woody, I'm using sandalwood, but it's very, very strong sandalwood, so I need to be very careful. I use only a few drops and see how it goes. Now, when we're done with the, the mixing, I need to give 45 days 
for this to get mature. And then you can see I put a date on top. So it's 15th of August, 2 and 2. So by the next month, 10, 10 days more, I'll see all the time has in it. So this is the bottle that you need to keep it uh, without uh, any you know, temperature differences or anything uh, to do with light. So this one is a cool place and I just keep it there, yeah? So see you next time. So this is uh, one of our customers, his name is Suko and he buys like crazy one of our perfume. What's your favorite perfume? Yeah, like, uh, you know, like I've got, I've been really called many, many, I've told many different things. Well, what's your favorite? My favorite is Desire. <laughs> yeah. This guy is crazy on so Desire, crazy. man. You know, he always <laughs> comes in and he always cries for where's my Desire gone, you know. So I just kept one bottle here and this bottle all is for him. Oh, come on. <laughs> so today we're going to give him a new one and I call him for Suko. Uh, that's his name, by the way. And we gave him the a bathing ape that we definitely. just made. Yeah. So you want to try and give us a review? Yeah. So look for his comments in, in the video. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So thank you very much. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.